Good morning, loves. Welcome to South Africa. Down here, I think. Yeah. They that they were out at sea a lot in uh, October. Really? Yeah, but hopefully we'll uh, hopefully we'll see the beaches be beautiful. I can see them! I can see them! Wait, can you see? Oh my god! Guys, there's something going on with these two. Yeah, like the. Oh! I've got my sunglasses on, even though it's not very sunny, because you can see like, I've got a <laughs> I've got a bit of an eye problem. I'm not really <laughs> I'm not really sure what I've done. I don't know if I've been bitten by something. I don't know if I'm just a bit swollen. I don't know if it's emotional things coming out. I've no idea. Um, but it's better than it was yesterday. So that's a that's a good thing. Been here for a few days here with my mom she retired a couple of weeks ago from i have to check with her i think it's something like 45 years as a nurse for the national health service in the uk and she's always wanted to come to south africa she's wanted to come for a really really long time because when she was little there was the possibility that she might move here with my grandparents my grandfather was offered a, a job here so she's always wanted to explore this you know this magical place that she was potentially going to have this whole other life 
when uh, when she was younger and it's been one of my big three destinations for a really really long time so when she said you know to celebrate her retirement she wanted to she wanted to come to South Africa I was obviously more than happy to to oblige I'm so excited and happy to be here I have to say I feel more grounded and more myself than I have for a really really long time and I'm just I'm really excited to like film and create while I'm here and show it show it to you as well because it is truly truly spectacular so we've had a few days in Cape Town we flew into Cape Town we've had four nights there the hotel was so beautiful I loved that city it was incredible and now we've hired a car and we are middle of driving the what is called the the garden route which goes from Cape Town all the way up to Port Elizabeth and uh, we're not going all the way up but we're doing a lot of it we arrived at the second hotel yesterday honestly I've just I've never seen I've never seen anything like it it is so so beautiful it's incredible the design of it the interior the setting just oh, all of it it's incredible I think that you would you'd absolutely love it and today is really exciting because we are going whale watching I can't wait for this I'm so excited for this I don't go to zoos or aquariums sea life centers anything like that I am incredibly passionate about animal rights and zoos make me feel really really sad so to be able to see animals in in the wild is yeah it's a really magical and emotional experience I would say I'm really glad that we're here in October because it's a really great time to go and see the whales so hopefully we will have some good sightings today just waiting for my mom to get ready had a shower this morning feeling fresh feeling good gonna go and have some breakfast and then drive into this town which I can't pronounce I think it's called Gaz Bay um, fun fact it is actually known as the great white shark capital of the world which yeah makes me feel really excited like there's no way I'm going I'm going in the sea while I'm here no freaking way um, but I'm excited to go and go and see this town and go and see some whales are you ready yeah. I was just um oh. <laughs> I was just telling everyone about your your nursing how many years were you a nurse mum Forty-six. Forty-six, not forty-five. 46. Forty-six years. Forty-six years. I started in September 1978. 1978? Yeah. Okay, there you go. And you finished a couple of weeks ago? Yeah, I did. Very proud of you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes. Let's go. Off we go. This vlog is sponsored by Aura and the Aura app has been a lifesaver 
on this trip. Aura is a mindfulness and sleep app that won the Best of Apple Award and is used by over 7 million people. Personally, I love how personalized the app is. It asks those questions when you first join up and then it gives you personalized recommendations. While I've been traveling, I've really been enjoying the breathwork sessions as well as the very short but really impactful morning meditations as well. You can think of Aura as similar to Spotify but for your mind and your soul. You can find traveling really stressful and disruptive for my routines so having the Aura app to fall back on has been really really good for anxiety and clarity of mind. To find out more about Aura, you can get started for completely free on Aura's website using my special link, which I will leave in the description for you. The first 500 people get a free trial and an exclusive 25% off. Hey, 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 Oh. Hello, darling. Oh, it's coming. Mum, don't. You don't upset them. No, I'm gone. This is the pool at the hotel, and if I zoom in, you see all the little, the little warthogs, little pumbers wandering around. So cute. Oh. Oh, it's all wet out here. Sure. <gasps> it's raining. It's raining. Um, good morning, loves. Good morning. It's like quarter to five in the morning, but going on our first ever safari and couldn't leave you in bed. <laughs> first safari this morning and oh my gosh it was incredible I've never experienced anything like it I've never been on safari before just like wow and we're going on our second one now so we have two a day here we have one at like five in the morning and then we have an afternoon evening one i'm actually looking forward to this one more because i think the light is going to be super super beautiful so we have like a lunch and some snacks and then we head out i struggled so much with packing for safari for this trip like i did research on pinterest for outfit inspiration and got myself in such a tiz thinking that i had to i mean the outfits were incredible these girls looked amazing literally like safari barbie um but you know me with capsule wardrobe i just thought there's no way that i'm buying a full outfit or set of outfits even to wear maybe just once um and it's okay so just to to say to anyone else who maybe goes through that like it's fine they've got stuff on the um on the, the land rover that you can put on if you're cold that's like all khaki colored and i'm literally just going out in something that's um neutral a neutral color and it's fine and i've got my sandals on because i have no desire to do any kind of bush walking or anything like that i'm just sitting in a car and going for a little a little ride around and seeing what's what's out there so yes the fear of packing not packing everything that you need is definitely real but 
it's always okay it always works out as always i've just brought my little carry-on for two weeks of adventures and i think we've only got like four or five four nights left now more than enough okay. i'm josh nice to meet you i'm the safari guy <laughs> them Josh? Yeah. yeah, wow. Look at the little one. Oh, that's incredible. yesterday I literally I literally needed a day to just process my emotions and be um, I have a tendency let me know if you're the same I am so highly sensitive as a person that sometimes I don't always feel my emotions in the moment it, I have like a delayed response and then they they hit me later on I think that's what happened with the safari i think that it was so overwhelming for me that i i struggled to experience all the emotions of it in that moment and then when i was leaving i cried i actually cried when i left the hotel i've never cried when i've left a hotel before i've never felt so tied to a hotel but i think the human connection aspect of like experiencing things together um, with the guides and the other guests there like it was a very community based experience it was really really beautiful and it's something that I wanted to do my whole my whole life and it was very surreal like I couldn't quite believe I was seeing what I was seeing um, so yeah I cried when I left the hotel I felt so much sadness when we got back to Cape Town I felt so overwhelmed in terms of sensory from going to such 
pure, beautiful nature back to a city with loads of people, with sounds. Like It reminded me of um, that scene from the beach when Leonardo DiCaprio comes from the island over to Bangkok and it's just like boom, boom, boom and it's so much for him, like he can't, can't quite cope with it. It reminded me of that, how, um, how I was feeling. So I just had a bit of a, a very chilled <laughs> pyjama day yesterday, processing emotions, feeling things. Um, and it, it's been raining quite a bit since we've been back in Cape Town as well. We're at our final hotel now. This is the end of the trip. We're by the beach. We're in a park called Camps Bay. It's really beautiful. It reminds me a bit, a little bit of Miami. It's got a bit of a Miami vibe to it. Nice like beach scene, um, bars by the beach, restaurants. It's really, really nice. The hotel's lovely. I'm very excited today because we are hopefully, fingers crossed, as long as the weather is okay, we're going horse riding. We're getting a car to Stellenbosch, which is like the wine country. I don't drink, so it's not really of that much interest to me, but my mom's really excited, so I'm going with her. And there are horses, so I'm interested in that. Fingers crossed. It seems to have stopped raining, so hopefully it will be okay. 